Even in the most well-run companies, sometimes things will still go wrong. Most people will be prepared to accept this, whilst clearly they're not happy if they're complaining, their overriding perception of your business or brand will be based on what effort you made to resolve that complaint and to retain their loyalty going forward. Microsoft Dynamics CRM can help you resolve complaints more effectively whilst keeping your team members informed. In this very brief overview, we'll see how by receiving a complaint via email, we can use that to automatically create a case within Dynamics CRM. From here, we can see that the case or complaint will be automatically allocated to the correct person and team, and how we as a user will be guided through the correct process to ensure a successful conclusion to that complaint. And along the way, we'll also be able to record any lessons that we've learned to avoid repeat incidents in the future. So let's start off that process within Outlook. If we look at my inbox here, we can see that I've received a complaint from one of our contacts. All I need to do to get that information into CRM is, first of all, click the track button. Once I've done this, I can then use the Convert To option to convert this to a case. All I need to do is identify that this is actually a complaint. Click on Select and our case will be created in CRM. So here we are in CRM, and we can see that the complaint has indeed been recorded as a case. First of all, we can see that the description of the case has automatically been pulled through from the subject of the email. We can see that the correct business process that we have defined has been allocated to deal with this complaint and to effectively guide us through the correct process. We can see that it's been allocated to the correct team member to deal with this. So let's simply follow this process through. In our example process, we can see that the first stage is called identify, and all that we are required to do at this stage is simply confirm the accuracy of the complaint, i.e. we have confirmed that the delivery was actually late. Once I've done that, I can simply click yes directly within the business process bar. Down here, you'll see that that's automatically updated the data on the case. Let's now move on to the next stage of dealing with this complaint. Simply by clicking the Next Stage button, the business process bar will guide us through the next stage, which is to identify the reason for the complaint. So at this stage of our presentation, we're going to assume that some internal activity has taken place to actually deal with and respond to this complaint. Let's do so by first of all populating our complaint response. So in this case, you can see that first of all, we've apologized. We've acknowledged that it was an agency driver and that's probably what caused the problem. But we've also said that we will credit the delivery charges and by way of apology, provide the next delivery free of charge. And finally, at this stage of the process, we're going to identify any lessons that have been learnt. In this case, to update the transport process to make sure that agency drivers are trained on how to confirm delivery time slots. So let's now move on to our next stage of the process. And at this point, all we're required to do is to confirm that we've actually given feedback back to the client. And our next stage again, and we can at this point record how satisfied the client was with our response. So we'll say very satisfied in this particular scenario. And finally, we can mark the case as resolved. And all we're required to do is, in this case, a mandatory field is to confirm the resolution. So in this case, we just confirm the fact that we've offered a credit and apologize to the client. Click on Resolve, and our case is concluded. Now, of course, this being CRM, as well as guiding us effectively through an efficient business process, it's also recorded all of the activity taking place against this case and, in fact, the contact. So down here in recent activities, we can see that we've actually spoken to this person recently, we've received the complaint email, and that we've offered a credit. We can also see here in recent cases that this one has been resolved. If we actually move across to the client record by clicking on their details over here, then you'll also be able to see at the contact record level the complaint recorded against them. You'll also note on the social pane of this record that the system automatically recorded that a complaint had been received and that the case has now subsequently been closed. And finally, if we leave the record and move across to the 
service area of the system where customer services representatives, for example, would view activity going on across the company, then you can see in their social pane again that this case was created against the John Smith record and it was assigned to Julie Adams and it was successfully closed. So to conclude, it's very easy to simply receive an email from within Outlook, automatically create a case against that in CRM, have CRM guide you or your users through a correct and efficient process to resolve that problem, and finally, to be able to see system-wide how that's been dealt with, who it was dealt with by, and the current status of it.